Prefax! Prefax! Good day, ladies and gentlemen! Today we're gonna do some uh, prefabbing and it might not sound fun but we can do a lot with it and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna load up our amazing home like we always do but today we're gonna change the look of it a little bit because we're gonna use prefabs I'll show you how to like set up the prefabs and um, what you can do with it etc and you will see you will notice actually that the house will become well look more like a house instead of this piece of, of you know so let's get started okay first of all we're gonna look for a spot that we will start building a prefab so let's create a cube so we have something to start with let's drag it a little bit above the ground over there that's fine and i think over here might be a good spot so we can see every object that we will create let's first drag this into oh let's go to the other side first there we go there we go so we can see the size and depth of of the wall as it currently is so we can kind of now use the same size okay that looks actually already fine but i th I think it's way too thick. So let's um, let's press this one, two, three, four, fifth button, and with that we get those outlines with the dots. And from that you can just drag it all the way up or down or whatever suits so you. Uh, let's make the first part like. Think about this size. So when when this is your avatar, it's a decent size of like a room, right? Like the height. And and that is let's see, like a skill of three. So okay, let's keep using the skill of three in the X and the Y axis. And for the Z, we're probably gonna scale it down a little bit so it looks more like a house. Like maybe 0.15. That seems that seems fine. Um, yeah, so let's use this as our base. So this will be our base wall. So let's rename this wall. Uh, prefab it's not yet a prefab though but at the end it will be so let's call it wall prefab and we're gonna duplicate this as it's not only a wall that we will need but we will also need um, something like a door door so this will be our door prefab and another one and this will be or window prefab because we like to look outside and see our environment and maybe at the end we also change the stairs a little bit to something more stair like but let's get started with this and check how far we get so for the door prefab, we're actually gonna duplicate it again. We're gonna drag it into the door prefab as the wall prefab. This is a wall. Well, maybe 
maybe okay let, let's add something to the wall prefab as well so we can like see the difference let's select this one again drag it all the way down uh, maybe a little bit up Oh, too much. Just maybe 0.5, something like that. Drag it a little bit more above the ground, so like this. You now uh, the, the, the nice decoration on the bottom of your floor <laughs> and the wall, like in the, in the corner, in the edge. Yeah, that's fine. But maybe uh, let's skill it I use the combination on my keyboard by pressing R just to quickly skill it and W for moving it okay that looks fine this is our wall so let's uh, call that wall prefab and this wall bottom decoration or maybe remove a wall completely and just call it bottom decoration so that's it and now actually we can actually remove the door and the window again because we got a new prefab so let's start over we're gonna make this or door prefab let me also uh, make my screen a little bit bigger so you can actually see it quite good um, I don't think I have to redo it because it was still at the starting point, so it's fine. Okay, but we got this door prefab now, but we need a door in, in, in this part. So let's duplicate this. We're gonna put this in the door prefab and over here we're just gonna remove the cube mesh mesh filter and the collider so we got an empty object basically and in there we got the bottom decoration that's this part and the wall itself so we're gonna call this one left wall oh walk left walk and we're gonna scale it like a little bit down more like so we can have our opening in here so we're gonna duplicate this again we're gonna call this one right wall and I am duplicating by pressing ctrl D so now I'm pressing ctrl and pressing W just to move quickly and pressing V selecting the corner and drag it over there Oh, oh actually that's yeah it should be fine let's do that at this side as well press v and put it on the corner same over here press v make sure it is attached so at the door well, it, it kind of looks like a door already, but we got our, our, our bottom decoration that's just going through the opening. That's not how we want it. So let's duplicate this as well. We're going to call the first one the left part and the second one the right part. And then we're just going to scale it up again over there and do the same with the right part but over over there let's see wait a minute okay i got multiple things going on now <clears throat> because it's a prefab of each other let's remove the this one and remove that one so look at that it is fine already because we previously we used this this game object with the 
bottom decoration already in it so it's already perfectly fine and attached to both sides um let's let's add a little top decoration or wall piece actually as well um are we gonna do that well maybe not maybe not let's let's don't do it for now so we got our uh wall prefab again and we will duplicate this we're gonna call the wall prefab we're gonna call it wall bottom prefab and the other one let's move it a little bit over here and we're gonna call this one top prefab and we're gonna remove the bottom decoration so when we got a wall piece and we want like a wall on top of it like this then you don't see the bottom decoration twice so we got a, a little selection now of prefabs that we can use for the next part we're gonna copy the wall bottom again drag it over so we can start working with it bottom decoration is fine but the prefab itself let's let's first drag this bottom decoration out because if we keep this in and we gonna resize the wall like this you can see that the decoration part is moving as well and we don't want that so drag this bottom decoration out of the object so it's separated now and now if we scale it you can see it just keeps its ratio and stays like how it is so for the wall we're gonna uh, let's quickly check we had a skill of three so if we gonna put it on well let's say like one and we're gonna duplicate it we're gonna drag it on top i'm gonna make this 0.5 or is that too big uh, 0.75 let's make it 0.75 and this one as well 0.75 and we're gonna move this by holding v and connect the corners with each other uh, this one as well to make it like connect it correctly we can actually put this corner on this corner and then select this one and move the corner to the corner of what's in here so we can remove that one again and we got the same height everywhere and maybe we want some some window I guess but let's make the empty prefab first so we're gonna create a new empty we're gonna call this a window prefab we got our bottom our top and our decoration and we're gonna drag this into the window prefab what was this part oh that's the top wall actually top wall prefab this is bottom bottom wall prefab so we got a door and now we're working on our window all right so let's create a no we don't need to create a new one let's rename this one to um bottom wall this one to top wall and bottom decoration can just be there no problem then we're gonna duplicate bottom wall so select it press ctrl d 
we're gonna move it a little bit up we're gonna connect the corners again there we go and actually we got one and a half so we need another 0.5 to fill the whole gap like that see oh it's not really connected that's better and select it again and we're gonna call this the middle wall left we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna call this middle wall right so left wall we're gonna select the scaling again we're gonna move it well to like 0 0.5 0 0.5 should be fine i'm gonna press w and hold v to connect it to the corner again we're gonna do the same with this one make it 0 0.5 gonna hold v put it on the corner oh, it's not aligned correctly like this and look at that we got some kind of Whoa, ah, it's not connected correctly. That's better, yes. Wait, no, it's not. All right, okay, let's select these, connect it again. That looks better, right? Yes, way better. So we got ourselves a window. We can actually move this part also over here, but yeah, let's let's do that. We got our bottom left right wall and let's call this middle middle wall because it's in the middle and let's see this is oh this is a strange number i'm gonna try to match it as closely as i can i'm gonna skew it a little bit it's not gonna work like that okay so i got point oh big ass calculator <coughs> so we start with a, a, a scale of three and we subtract two seven five four yes and for the other side as well so two seven five four and we are left with <laughs> Yeah, select it. There we go. And now put that number in here. Ooh. With a zero, of course. Um it should fill up the gap. Yep. It's connected to all the parts. Yes, it is. So that's the middle part. Um we can remove the bottom decoration from this because we won't need it. And the only thing that rests is drag this a little bit up right about here. It's just um, a little bit on feeling like maybe oh no don't do that. Fifteen. Fifteen should be fine. And we need to connect it again because we skilled it in the transform properties and not by hand so look at that we got we, we got a little towel set of a wall a door uh, a window and another wall maybe we want another window as well but without the bottom decoration so remove it actually we don't actually have to remove it but just the sake of, of easiness i guess let's do it like this okay so we got our objects we made a few objects and we can add materials to it like blue wall blue wall let's put a blue wall on all these pieces almost there and some dark wall on the bottom pieces look at that starting to look beautiful 
but you can see that like the text isn't really no it doesn't seem perfectly right so to fix this in in an easy way like if you're really making prefabs out of blocks in unity like this how i'm doing now then you have to create multiple multiple materials for them to like match up the object but if you do it in a 3d program like blender or name one then you can uh, unwrap the texture over the object which makes it easier but not everyone knows how blender works or like wants to invest time to learn it so this is the most easiest way to just get a, a quick and dirty set of prefabs so we're gonna make sure that the textures are looking fine so we're gonna select the blue wall texture i'm gonna put it on one one in the tiling you can see that it already starts looking fine over here and over here so that's that's, that's good that's good but for the other parts it now looks kind of messed up and we need to fix this so we're gonna create a blue wall and we're gonna name this blue wall door side i guess i'm gonna drag this on the side and oh this is smaller again and that as well okay so we're gonna name it side and it is um, on the y x it's one again so we got the same height as you can see and point thirty three looks maybe good i think you can do it with that but it's not actually like one third of the model it's more like i don't know 28 28 something like that so we got 28 and now we also need one for the blue wall door top so basically we're creating multiple multiple um, textures for every part to make it look nice and consistent so this one is like one third maybe a little bit lesser I th it's hard to tell because it's you, you have to see it so let's make this 130 maybe it's one yeah let's keep it like this but for the top the y it this part fits like one two three four five maybe six times in it so let's make it point fifth point eighteen well almost and for the offset we're just gonna offset it a little bit more to like we see something that kind of fits i think right over here 64 65 63 now you can see that we actually need this to be a little bit bigger maybe one fifteen fourteen or oh, fourteen maybe third maybe maybe fourteen fourteen looks fineish if you look at the lines going through but it's, it's not that much difference in there to five to six to seven to eight to nine to nine looks good so we need a little bit of an offset i still think to 
it's really hard to see it. I, you can calculate it, but I'm not gonna calculate everything because my brain is not well, screwed up this part. Not made up for it today. Let's see if we can find some. Oh, this, this maybe looks like it's something. Look, good enough for me. Maybe, maybe switch it a little bit up. I don't see any reference point that I can use. Like, we got some dots over here. We could, like, match it up if we had something in the bottom top. I have no clue. Let's keep it like this to get the point of what we're trying to do. And you can uh, probably fix it yourself. So we got the first two done, and now we only need the uh, window ones. So these two are exactly the same. So we can share the the, the um, <coughs> material with it. So let's call one blue wall window. That's fine enough. Blue wall window, drag it on the top and the bottom part. And for this, make it 1 1. So we got a starting point. And in here, we only need the y axis. So it's, uh, it was like 1 third? No? 25? Maybe? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it was 25 actually, because we divided it in three pieces, yeah. So it's okay, that's fine. Uh, but it doesn't seem to connect with the other wall if we bring it over here. We can see it doesn't really connect, so the offset is a little bit a little bit lower, lower, higher. No idea where we are. Maybe it's 20, 75, 75, 75 is fine. On one part, of course, because we're using the same at the bottom. So actually we have to make a top and a bottom. If you want to, oh, uh, which one was it? This one, the bottom. If you want to match up <coughs> the texture, like this looks fine. You can almost see the gaps between the walls. And we do the same over here, this bottom part. There we go. Let's move this one a little bit back. And now we got the sides and I think that's the same what happens over here as well you can see like this part is the same as this part so I'm not gonna spend too much time at the sides as well I'm just gonna make one more window sides so you get the idea of how to fully texture the oh, yeah, sides how to fully texture this part so we got our thing and this one is on the y-axis it's actually two of a quarter part of the model so it's 0.5 in the y and like for the x as axis it's like one two three four five six times again so that's like point 15 ish 0.18 you can see well that looks already pretty damn good look at that beautiful and for this one we're just gonna make it one one it's like for the bottom part and you won't really check up that closely to see it but this is fine so now we got 
multiple prefabs already with no prefab. Uh, it's actually top with no prefab. So let's make the prefabs. I already created the assets prefabs uh, directory with like this uh, sofa and the game room furniture in it. We did it in the last part, I guess. But for now, we're gonna get the bottom wall prefab. That's this part, and we're just gonna drag it in right over there. That's it. We got ourselves a prefab now. We're gonna do the same with the door, the top wall, with the window, and with the top window. And you can see we now have five of these beautiful prefabs. And we can use it. So, um, actually, we can. No, I'm not gonna do this now. But you can make a glass shader and put a plane or another cube in it to make glass. So that, that's something that you guys can do yourself. For now, I'm just gonna drag this right in here. I'm gonna connect it to the corner. Maybe I how? Okay, that's that's pretty pretty deep. Um, that's not working either. I can just drag it a little bit down, a little bit out, and like this, so it's over to our own texture. But uh, okay, that's that's not working I'm just gonna grab this corner and put it on this corner so we have well it, we have it a little bit floating but we can like drag this down as well so for now not much of a deal so we're gonna do the same with this part we're just gonna select the corner by holding V and get it connected to the corner in here so let's see it's almost connected wait is it it's this part right it is so we got our first problem with the wall select the bottom decoration when you connected the wall properly you can see it's a little bit shifted so oh so we're gonna select the bottom wall and we're gonna drag it in like that and the nice thing of prefabs is that we can now right click this and this okay we cannot right click it but we can select the prefab and then you got your prefab over here. Actually, it should be able to. No, it's not. But we can. Let me see because. Ah, there it is. So whenever you change something in your prefab, you're allowed to like modify the core prefab of it like if you have 10 of the same prefabs in one scene and um, it will change in all those 10 prefabs and you can modify single prefabs as well like this I just modified one and if I drag out another uh, bottom wall prefab like this then it doesn't have like the same transformations as the one that I just did in here so when you do some changes in the prefab just select the prefab check whatever you have changed in it like the transform because we moved the bottom decoration a little bit and the wall itself a little bit so you can just select the cog in transform and is it didn't we no we did not change this we only changed the decoration so it's only in the decoration you can see 
modified component and you can apply the modification to the prefab so let's apply it you can also revert it if you made or messed it up a little bit but first we we just cleaned up the model a little bit and now you can see like the same glitching going over here but shouldn't be a big of a deal because you won't notice it in game at the end um well we're having another one in here let's just quickly move it over there as well and it should connect up now because we fixed the issue with it look at that look at that and let's remove these walls so one more thing um let's select the button prefab that we just created you will see here the button open prefab when you press that one you get just the isolated prefab and you can modify anything in here because we want this wall to be static and yes the children as well and we can do modifications like reflection probes put it on blend probes and sky cube light map i like to put it on 0.4 maybe 0.5 for a wall prefab and we want to stitch the seams we can also put it in a separate layer like this is the environment or make a new layer and call it house or whatever but let's keep it in default and the bottom decoration i'm gonna remove the collider because it's not really needed because the wall already has a full collider so that small part you won't even notice it it's already static uh, skill and light map this maybe 0.1 or something it's really really low stitch seems is not really necessary reflection probes okay so now we've changed a few things in here if we go back so we get back to our scene and we select the prefab that we just changed you can see that it now shares the light map and the staticness the blend probes and skybox so every change that we made in a prefab source is now also made in here like we have no collider in here and the same goes for this part over here the collider is gone we have the same skill and light map so you only have to modify one object and it will be modified in every object as you can tell this house will be made out of a lot of these prefabs so we're just gonna duplicate it by control d and move it over control d move it over control d oh misselect and move it over that's the bottom part look at that uh, nice we got our first wall down and we can actually now because we have that other wall part over here without like the bottom decoration we can put it on top look at that it's almost the same size almost and we can just do the same so ctrl d and move it over Control D, move it over. Yeah, it is a very boring process to do it like this. But hey, once it's done, it's good to go. Look at that. A full wall has been completed. easy as that and we can now do the same with like the windows let's say we want some view to the outside just delete that prefab and we're gonna select the one with the decoration at the bottom and we're gonna move it over here and look at that we just got ourselves a window pretty easy I would say so I'm just gonna quickly open up the prefabs again uh, let's make 
the parent aesthetic and select and the left and the right and the middle wall is gonna make them blend for the reflection probes 0.4 stitch seams and for the decoration itself remove the box collider make this 0.1 don't stitch make it there and go same for the top i'm just gonna fix these models so I'll probably fast forward a little bit but it's okay 0.4 static same open static yes change children 0.4 that open prefab she knows static yes Point one. All right, so all the parts are fixed now. Gonna remove this one for now and delete this. Because I got a full wall now of all these prefabs, we can actually make them go into a group. So we're gonna create an empty, and we're gonna call this the door side of the house. I'm gonna drag all these parts into it and i'm gonna create a new empty and we're gonna call this house and drag the door side of house so we got a little bit of understandable way of working or something i just like it organized okay so now we got the door side of house and we're gonna copy or duplicate it and we're gonna Name this um, other side house. <laughs> you can make it left, right, top, bottom, whatever you want. And we're just gonna make uh, this rotate on the Y by 180 so it's like flipped. And move it by connecting the corner to the corner. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna remove the door part and we're gonna put a window oh, 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 oh. window part in it. Yeah. Got to rotate it as well, of course. Oh wait, no, we don't. We only have to add it to the other side and make sure this is zero again. Where did it go? There it go. And put it on the right spot by pressing V, connect the corners, there we go. Look at that, oh maybe, maybe I should change like this part and this part. <coughs> connect it over there and connect it over there, look at that, yeah, much better. <coughs> So that's one way. I'm gonna finish up the rest of the house probably in a quick time lapse. So you can do this yourself. It's just repeating the same actions over and over again till you got yourself a house. So I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs>
So I changed every wall in there, as you could see, and I replaced the stairs with, well, just a smooth stairs for now. But you get a point. Uh, you can use the same technique to create a new kind of stairs, maybe a spiral going stair, like make a part of it and then just duplicate it on top of each other. Yeah. The possibilities are endless. Maybe I'm gonna go for the spiral stair when I'm done. So I removed it and oh no, I moved every part that we already had, like the doorbell triggering from the previous um, tutorial. Same for the mirror toggle, like one of the first first tutorials. And uh, well, maybe let's see if the mirrors are still lined up. Yeah, that oh, that that should work, but we can actually. Put them a little bit more to the back, maybe make them a little bit larger, like that. Yeah, people like large mirrors, right? That's a thing in VR chat. Maybe put some kind of rug in uh, in front of it. Let's close this and can I select only the uh, rug from this? Nope, I cannot. Okay, that's too bad. You get a point, and oh, that's it. That's how you use prefabs. Now, if we want to change something in a prefab, like we want to um, change your or door prefab, uh, it's kind of small to use. Okay, let's go for the window prefab. We're gonna open the window prefab. We're gonna create a new cube. We're gonna call this a window. So this is gonna be the window and we decided at first to not create this. So let's change your mind and actually do create it. So we're gonna make sure it fits in this open slot over here like that we need a new material because we don't have any we're gonna call this window so for this i'm gonna use the standard texture i'm gonna remove the texture from it, I'm gonna make it a little bit a bluish, not too much, just a little bit. And reflections here, yeah, we do want the reflections, but we want it to be transparent. Drop it on it, and you can already see that I can see the grid through it, so that should be fine. Let's go out of this prefab and bada bim, bada boom. We got ourselves a window. We cannot really see through this one. Maybe make it a little bit more transparent like this. We can actually see through it. It looks good. That looks good. And that's it. We just saw how I changed How I changed the uh, the prefab and it applied immediately to all the windows in here. So the only thing, well, let's generate a new light map because that looked kind of strange over there. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yes, it does. So that's it for now guys, that's how you can start working with prefabs and create your own things that you can reuse in your world, like create a, a house, simple and pretty fast like this. If, if you got like a selection of prefabs like this, you can even export only your prefabs to a package and use it in all your other 
project so you can create your own library of uh, house models and well, you name it. It can be anything. I hope that this actually helped you with building worlds, building houses. If something is still unclear, please let me know and I'll help you as best as I can. And once again, I want to thank the subscribe patrons right over there, the beautiful people supporting me. I really, really, really can't tell you how much it means for me. Um, so I can keep doing this kind of things, um, making tutorials for you guys and come up with ideas. So for now, I'm gonna call it a day, keep it how it is, and we'll see each other in the next episode. Oh, and don't forget. Please submit your VR worlds to me if you made any, because I want to see them. All of them. <laughs>